Good morning, it's eight o'clock on Coronation Day, Saturday the 6th of May. If you remember, five weeks ago, we set ourselves a very hard task of getting our lawns ready for today. We've had the worst weather possible, but we've managed to get something like. So before I show you the results, let's just have a quick recap on how we got to where we got today. Okay, so let's cast our mind back to August 2022. They had the driveway redone and all the levels were out and it was covered in annual meadow grass so we made the decision to relay it. We were going to relay it at first but we decided to seed it in the end and I'm so glad we did. Brought Joshua in, he did a lot of the legwork for me and I just came in and did majority of the finer tuning work. We added field compost number four to the root zone that we brought in, mixed it all in. We then overseeded with the Berenbrug Extreme Dwarf Rye raking it then just caressing it in very gently covering it with the fleece just to stop any debris off the trees falling because it was quite late on in the year then we took the covers off put our products on and we join it back now 2023 3rd of april we scalped the lawn with the cylinder scarified it overseeded top dressed with the field compost number four and then we turned up back on the 14th of april giving another dose of liquid products and some equilibrium and then we join it back today on the 6th of May. Okay, so we're just about to show you the front. Hopefully you're gonna be pretty impressed. So you ready? This isn't the big surprise, that's coming in a second, but let's show you the results. Just over four weeks ago, on the 3rd of April, we did this, and then today we've got this. Absolutely fantastic. We've had the worst weather possible, as I said, it's just rained, we've had no sun, but we've delivered something like. Still a bit bare over here. What we've realised is that when it rains, the water drips off the trees and it's just dripping in these spots. So that's not able to grow. So what we'll do is when we get some nicer weather and we get a sustained period without rain, we can get some seed on there and then that isn't going to damage because there's no rain and then we can get the seed up and running and then hopefully we can try and keep it alive. But generally, very impressed. Lovely colour. All I've done is just carried on with the applications of Orbit, Grace, Stella. I just had some equilibrium. And then yesterday, I came and put a dose of Galactic on and a new product called Dan's Lawns Magic. And this is the result. So as you can see, lovely deep green colour. We'll give our up close shot. Absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do today is we're going to give it a vertical and we're going to give it a cylinder cut then it's ready for tomorrow. So let's go on, get on with that and I'll show you the big surprise. Okay, so we've got our nice green lawn in need of a cut. We want to vertical cut it and give it a cylinder cut. And what better way to do that than with this new surprise, the 17 inch Alex Sterling. I bought it. I don't want anybody saying, oh, they should have given you one, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want one. I wanted to buy one because I don't want to be in anybody's pocket. So this is mine. I own it. The only thing I don't own is this verticutting attachment. It's a prototype. It's got double the amount of blades in the normal. And what we're doing is we're just testing it to see, does it work in terms of, does it drain the battery more because there's more blades on it, which means there's going to be more resistance. In the, in the lawn. It shouldn't do too much because with the vertical tea, you don't actually go into the soil. If it were going into the soil, you would actually probably drain it more because it is really catching on the soil and slowing it down. So it's having to use more power because we're just skimming over the top and we're literally just caressing the surface. I don't think it's gonna to be too much of an issue. They have had to use um, thinner steel so because of the weight. So that's another factor. So we're gonna see if they bend uh, and things like that. So what we'll do is first, we will get on with our vertical because it's in there, give it a vertical, and then we'll swap over to our blade, not been used yet, and then we'll get it cut. Uh, what I have missed about this is the quick exchange. So you just lift these two levers here, I'll show you in a little while, and put that up there, and it just pulls out. Whereas the Kensington, it was an Allen key job. So I have missed this aspect of it. And I did miss, to be honest with you, once I'd done it, the battery, the noise, and the dial on the side, which tells you exactly how high you are. So I have missed this machine very much. So I'm glad, and look at that, the sun's just coming out. 
So we should be able to get some nice video footage for you cutting this lawn. So I'm really looking forward to it. So let's crack on. So when you're using the verticutting attachments or the scarifying attachments, you go on this dial here. You can see it's got this like um, a scarifying attachment, if you like, uh, and that's how you know. So at the minute it's just set at zero. So what I'll do is, I don't want to go on at like number 10 and then think, oh God, I've just taken half the lawn up. We'll just work out in increments. We'll just start the, the lowest or the highest, if you like, the highest point, and then we'll work our way down and just till we get it right. So we'll just do a few test runs and see how we get on and see what's best. We don't want to do too much today because it's a brand new lawn, so there's not going to be too much in there. We just want to get anything out that's fallen because there's been a lot of uh, seeds falling off the tree and they're over near the tree. Um, we've done a lot of mowing this week. We've cut it every day with the Kensington. Uh, so we've really thickened it up and got a lot of the debris up, but it's just still a bit lurking. So we're going to do that with the vertical cutting attachment and see how it works. Okay, so I've just done a few test runs there. I'm happy with that where I am on that zero. And if you remember, you don't need air defenders. So that's one thing I have missed about this. Although I do enjoy listening to talk sport. So I will still wear air defenders if you do see me. I am just listening to the radio. Let's go. All right, so that's the box full, just from that one pass. We've got all this debris up, which is great. It's almost like we've cut the lawn. I can't believe how much has come up. So that just shows you how much grass is actually in a lawn. You know, we've, we've got all that in there, but we've still got a lovely lawn. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to get on with the cylinder and give it its final cut. And then we'll call the front a wrap. And then we'll go around the back and we'll show you that. Okay, one thing I have missed about this mower is the quick exchange. The old atco like the al at kensington but atco designed it they made like a quick exchange but it meant four um, bolts on the side four allen key screws and two on the inside of the blades but with this it's literally three levers and it's out so let's show you how quick we can do it not done this for a while so you go one two press that in and out it comes and then this one goes back in. One, two, lock. So that is how quick that is done. That's probably the best thing about this mower, I would say. A job really well done. And something that actually makes a difference. Because some of the new mowers, they've got holes, attachments where you put your holes in. And they're all just whistles and bells, but that is not a whistle and bell. That is actually a feat of engineering. Just before I started mowing, I just did a few test runs and I decided 20mm on the setting was perfect for this lawn. All right, so that's what we've taken off as well. Lovely fine clippings. We smell amazing as well. So you're ready to see the final result again with video. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How epic is that? How epic is that? How good does that look? Right, come on, come on, nine out of 10. 
yeah, it's not perfect. A few areas where there was a leather jacket nibbling there or something like that, I'm not sure. But on the whole, from where we were five weeks ago when it looked like this, to now, I think you've got to be pleased with that, haven't you? So what have we done? We've just scalped it four weeks ago, overseeded, top dressed. And when the seeds started coming through, we went up with Grace, Sopro, Stella and Orbit. We've continued that. We've had two applications of that. One application of Sopro, went on with the Equilibrium. And then last night, what I want to talk to you about now is Galactic Green. So what is Galactic Green? When you've washed your car, it's got nothing to do with lawns, but in terms of when you wash your car, it looks good. And then you say, do you know what? I want to take it to that next level. I want to buy like a high definition wax just to take it to that next level of shininess. Well, that's what Galactic Green is. You get your lawn looking something like, and then when you want to take it to that next level, like say tonight, today, the day before a party, or like yesterday, the day before a party, we came, we sprayed the Galactic just to give us that upper level of greenness. And that's what this is. So that's why it's looking so green because we came yesterday and put the Galactic Green on just to elevate us to that next level and as you can see it's worked an absolute treat i tell you this is probably the greenest lawn i've ever produced and you're wondering why we don't get this kind of greenness where the sun shines and that's because the lawn is in the shade lot here so it's producing more chlorophyll to try and get as much sunlight as it can because it doesn't get any sunlight from until about midday it doesn't get any sunlight here and then for the rest of the day it's here and a bit over here but the tree over there just blocks it so it gets very little but so that gives us that deeper green but we would want it sunny ideally just because it's harder to keep it alive so i do struggle around here that's why i'm so stressed because this front lawn is an issue just because we don't get any sun over here at all until the latter end of the day but to get it back to something like this is i think a testament to my passion rather than skill it's just coming doing what we're doing and making sure it's done on time and stuff and yeah a bit patchy still well, those will fill in. If we have a look at this uh, from a few weeks ago, you'll see that um, it has filled in quite a lot. And even those patches over there are filling in where I double dosed with the fertiliser. But yeah, that is looking fantastic. Hopefully the sun will come out later and we can just have a look at it in some areas in the sun and we'll see how it looks. But um, yeah, really, really happy with that. Fit for any king, I'd say. So hopefully King Charles will watch this and say, thanks Dan, thanks for doing that for me. So yeah, so yeah, look at that, it's just like liquid. It's like you could dive into it, isn't it? You know, like the glossiness and that comes from the orbit where we get that like really deep shine and obviously mowing it with the lovely Alec blades there just gives us that really polished finish with the nice metal roller on the front that polishes it as well. So yeah, so time now to go in the back and we'll have a look at that, but yeah. Where do you want your statue down here, but? Sun's just peeped out, so I'll just show you some pictures with the sun out. Absolutely fantastic. And we're a good opportunity to have, to have a look up close as well. You see, nicely groomed, really healthy looking. And if we peel it back, see the soil which is even better than when we're walking on it we feel like we're walking on earth not on a layer of thatch so it's always good to know we know that that is cut at 20 mil so there you go absolutely fantastic okay so I'll show you around the back now this has been a bit more of a challenge because we've not had any sun at all in the corners so over there is looking a bit dodgy but over here it's filled in pretty nicely I'd say from the old video that you've uh, seen before. So what we've done here is, as you remember, we came, we took the fleece off after we'd scarified and everything, top dressed, obviously the top dressed, and then we put an application of Soul Pro, Stella, Grace and Orbit on. It's had one application of Soul Pro, but it's had two of everything else. And then 10 days ago, I came and put some Equilibrium on. That's kicked in lovely. Been cutting it regularly. And then yesterday, I came in and gave it a dose of Galactic Green and mixed in some Dan's Magic Liquid Lawn Feed as well. So it's looking really nice. It's just a shame the sun's not out. 
bit of an issue. The dog came out and did a wee over there, so we had to dig that out just this week. And I've kind of transplanted some seeds in there from the front, from an edge. So hopefully they'll take and that'll be all right. We don't hide anything. Here, this one, same. Another dog wee. And then over here is a bit of a disaster, really. It's not really taken. Just had so much rain, no sunlight after the seed had come through, which always helps. It's starting to come through a little bit. I have put a bit more seed down, but it's still a bit sparse. And over here... This is just where we're turning and stuff. Like I said, we, we can't not cut the rest of the lawn just to kind of protect this bit. So what we'll have to do is when we come back uh, a later day, we'll have to reseed this area and hopefully by then the sun will be higher in the sky, etc. And we can get this growing for the summer. But on the whole, looking pretty good. I'm going to show you some pictures now from earlier in the week when the sun was shining after I'd cut it. So it does look really good. I don't think we're going to get the sun today. It's overcast all day. So hopefully uh, these will uh, suffice any sunshine picks that you want. So let's just have a look at those now while I get set up with the vertical to get. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and vertical it and we're going to try and pick up all this blossom that's falling and any other debris and then we'll get on with the cylinder and then we'll see how it looks. Double cut and uh, tartan stripes today. Okay, so this is what I've just picked up off the back lawn. All that blossom has come up. Having the double amount of blades in there is definitely helping with the picking up because when it's just a single blade, like half as many, it doesn't do a great job of picking stuff up. But with the double on, it definitely does a great job. Okay, so we've cut the lawn now, double cut with the Alex Sterling, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Let's just go a close up and see, absolutely fantastic. No overcrowding, lots of room, a good lawn, you should always be able to see the soil through the sward and you can do that. So when we've got plenty of, if you walk on a football pitch, early doors, you can always see the soil and that's a good sign, it means there's no, no like a uh, disease going to come in because there's plenty of wind can get through those grooves and obviously doing the vertical as well has opened that up as well so yeah i managed to get some footage which i'll show you now from just before when the sun came out ever so briefly and it allowed us to take a picture and i'll show you that now it's like this but from higher up i just raised the tripod up and i think you'll agree it looks pretty good so yeah really happy with this one All right, that's it for today, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope you've enjoyed me creating this masterpiece behind me. It looks absolutely fantastic. Really pleased with the colour. All I've done is put the products on and done the work while I've been coming, mowing, feeding, all the liquid products. Oh, for God's sake. All right, that's this video drawn to a close. Now, I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully you can take some inspiration and do a lawn like this yourself. I'm not coming back at night sprinkling unicorn dust on or anything like that. What you see is what you've got. All I've done is cut it and put the products on. That's all you need. And all you need is want, that most important word, want. If you don't want it, it's not going to happen. So you need to want it for it to happen. So if you want to see more lawns being turned around like this, join me next time on Daniel Hibbert Lawn Expert. Have a great bank holiday. Enjoy the coronation. And I'll see you next week. I'm off to Bristol now to watch Bolton. See you soon.